anniversary of the birth of Georges Bizet, Bizet's very first orchestral work, a concert overture in A major, never performed during Bizet's lifetime. Here performed by the RTE National Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Jean-Luc Tignard. Making good on our promise, at least at this hour, of playing at least one work by Bizet each hour this morning. Stay tuned. This is the composer's datebook for October 25th. I'm John Zeck. On today's date in 1970, a new chamber work by the American composer John Carigliano received its premiere performance at a concert given by the Chamber Music Society of Lincoln Center, the group that had commissioned it. The new piece, titled Poem in October, was scored for tenor voice and eight instruments, and was a setting of poetry by Dylan Thomas, the great Welsh poet who died in 1953. Coriliano explains, the thing that most appeals to me is the sound of his words. Phrases from poem in October like a spring full of larks in a rolling cloud and the blue altered sky streamed again a wonder of summer are in themselves musical. A spring full of larks in a rolling cloud and the roadside bushes The music itself, says Corigliano, is unabashedly lyrical. I sought to convey a pastoral feeling that would match the directness and simplicity of the text. To deal in understatement and succinctness rather than in complexity and theatrical effect. Corigliano's chamber scoring includes three pastoral wind instruments, flute, oboe, and clarinet, plus strings, and perhaps to give the work a slightly archaic feel, a harpsichord. Composer's Datebook is produced by APM, American Public Media, in conjunction with the American Composers Forum, reminding you that all music was once new. I'm Elliot Forrest.